Hi lovelies. So this is going to be short and sweet. I hope you all had a wonderful 4th of July or Friday for those not in America or those didn't celebrate it in America. I don't know. But happy Saturday today. And um, I was just telling my friend, because um, I drank like a ton in high, in, um, high school. That was really bad. <laughs> in college. And I was explaining to her, I was like, yeah, it kind of was like alcohol poisoning, like the night that I got home, like when I got home, I was so sick. Like I had a migraine, I just was like miserable. And then all today and this morning was just like, felt like a hangover. And not like those symptoms, but like that's kind of how it felt like because I had so much fun with my friends and I so... Oh, I just so needed that like I just desperately needed that and I got to hang out with almost all my friends I miss my best friend Alicia she went on, but she went on this amazing couples um, trip kind of for the weekend with like other married couples this beach house so I'm still really happy for her because she doesn't get time for herself or you know her and her husband so but I just I missed her but I got to spend some time and we, we, okay, we went to the beach, then we uh, went downtown, and we went to this wonderful restaurant that we just, like, miraculously found, because um, the fireworks are downtown, and everywhere was oh, an hour and a half wait minimum for four people, and we had eight people, or nine people, I think, um, and then all of a sudden, like, we, we split off in groups and, like, we found a restaurant. So we all kind of got together. And it was a bit stressful because it was a lot of girls that were very hungry. And um, I get real quiet when I'm kind of, like, hungry. But um, most girls get really snippy and cranky. Uh, girls and boys, but I was with girls. So, um, so it was like a little bit stressful because it was just a lot of rushing and people were kind of like but it ended up being like per it worked out perfectly and like the meals were wonderful and everybody was just happy as a clam and then the fireworks were really fun to watch but um and then we went back to our friend's house and we did sparklers which are like my absolute favorite and last year <laughs> We had these sparklers, and we were at we were out on like a grassy area last year, and um, there was just some little random kid. Like every time I lit a sparkler, he would just come over and snatch it out of my hand, and like I love sparklers. Like I am not ashamed to say, like I freaking love them. Like I get the excitement of like a three year old, like to six year old child with sparklers. Like I love them, but. As an adult lighting sparklers, I couldn't like just be like, you can't keep, you can't keep taking these from me. Like, this is my sparkler, not your sparkler. So every time I lit one, he would come and take it. I was like, I don't get a sparkler. <laughs> I mean, it was really funny, but so this year we got to do like lots of sparklers and stuff because we just did them when we got back home in case some little kids tried to come and steal them from me, you know. Um, and then I got back really late, and by the time I got back, laid down, I had full-blown migraine, which sucked because I knew I was going to be up for a really long time. Usually I watch TV and, like, do all that thing. Nope. Migraines are the most boring things ever. And then, um, I think I got, like, maybe two hours of sleep, which is pretty good, granted, well, how much I had done. It was a lot of walking. And then, um, yeah, so today has just been really rough, but as you can tell, my spirits are really high because I just had so much fun with my friends and, like, just after what I've been dealing with, um, not that it's, like, I don't want him to think I'm, like, dealing with him, but, like, just going through all the emotions and, like, worrying and stressed and being isolated, it just felt really good to just have my mind off things and just have a lovely time so um, it was just really nice all around so I hope you guys had a really good time too and um, let me know what you guys do for the 4th of July even if you're not 
say if you're not from the states then tell me what you did on friday like our fourth of july because i know some people celebrate the fourth of july like ironically over like in england and like some other places but <laughs> i think it's like a, one of those funny jokes you know um what would be a non-funny joke that's kind of like a weird thing to say but anyways uh yeah, so I hope you guys have a pain-free, stress-free day and sending out X-doubles. And as always, I'll talk to you tomorrow.